guys welcome back okay so happy spring you guys know spring has officially sprung when ColourPop releases their spring collection okay so that's what I want to talk about and play with today no I don't have a whole collection I typically don't buy whole collections because they pretty much go to waste you know who needs a whole collection of stuff so I didn't buy the whole collection the only thing that I wanted of course was the eyeshadow palette and some of their luxe lipsticks now as part of this collection it does come with some of their new jelly much shadows some blushes some of the luxe lipsticks as well as the eyeshadow palette now I'm just looking at the collection right now which of course a lot of stuff is sold out sorry I just got my stuff I know they'll bring it back hopefully so if you want it hopefully you'll still be able to get it but now I love the luxe lipstick formula so of course I picked up a few of those but like I said I'm looking at the collection right now and I'm kind of upset that I didn't grab a couple of the blushes because the blushes look very pretty and pigmented so anyway enough of that this is the little bag that I got from ColourPop with my little lipsticks and my eyeshadow palette in it ah they sent me a card it says you spark joy i try i try y'all <laughs> anyway so first off the lipsticks that i got like i said i picked up three of the lipsticks these are the colors that i got very very pretty and spring like i think they're gonna go nicely with this palette so i got flower season which is this shade here and I will swatch them for you guys to see I got tea time which is this shade here a little bit darker and then I also got moody bloom which is a little bit darker as well kind of like a plummy tone to it so I will be swatching these and let me show you guys this cute little palette oh and the packaging you guys the packaging oh my goodness look at this Look at this packaging, isn't that pretty? It kind of reminds me of like, you know, the old glamour, the old beauty glamour. So anyways, this collection is called Sweet Talk, just in case I didn't say that, but the palette is called Sweet Talk as well. It has this gorgeous, beautiful, old glamour type of packaging. And it's really pretty with the spring colors, the flowers, the little gold detailing. I like that. And as you can see, it's a pressed powder palette. So that's what they're calling this, which I assume is because some of these items aren't safe for the eyes, <laughs> even though I'm about to put them on my eyes. But the back of this box has the shade names on here as well. So you can keep it. But the palette has the shade names on the back also, which is perfect. It totally, completely matches the box. So if you don't like keeping boxes, you can toss the box. Now, of course, this is cruelty free. Like I said, shade names are on here. Now, this palette does not have a mirror. It does have a little protective sheet just in case something was to happen to your shadows during transit. But this is what this palette looks like. Let me see if I can kind of, it's not a very deep toned palette at all. As you can see, it definitely says spring. And whenever they put the kind of metallic or shimmery background on a palette, it's kind of hard to show it on camera because of our bright lights and everything. But this is what the palette looks like. It does include, for the first time ever, I believe, one of their Super Shock Shadows. They did go ahead and put one in the palette. So it's this shade here, which is Side to Side. So that's the name of that shadow, Side to Side. And it is very, very pretty. Now there are also two pressed glitters in this palette, which are these two shades right here, as you can obviously see, are pressed glitters. So those are gorgeous, but let me just give you a close up look at this palette. Hopefully I don't drop it. This is what she looks like. Isn't she gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm not anticipating that I'm going to be able to do a million looks with this palette because the color scheme is just not really my vibe. Y'all know that. But I do want to go ahead and play around with this today and see what I can do. Now I do have a lot of other ColourPop products to use. Not everything ColourPop, but I figure if I'm using the ColourPop palette, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do ColourPop foundation, concealer, powder, you know, lips of course, the stuff that I do have, highlighter too. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna go ahead and insert just a picture of some swatches right now just so you can see what the swatches look like. I'm back eyelids prepped now I don't know if I mentioned but this palette is $18 and the lipsticks are $7 that I purchased I think I did mention that but let's see here what are we going to start with today you guys I am really really liking this color here y'all y'all gonna have to excuse me I don't want to wear my glasses through this whole tutorial so I'm just going to point to the shade okay this color here, I'm going to start off with that in my crease. Okay, you guys, so this shadow is very, very nicely pigmented. I must say, ColourPop did the dang thing with this color right here. It is so freaking pigmented. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous. Okay, now I want to kind of, you know, blend out the edge of that or the upper portion of my eyelid and there is a lot of fallout in here though but i'm not surprised because it is a pressed pigment and it's extremely pigmented <laughs> so i'm not surprised at the fallout and i don't mind it at all i think i'm going to take this shade here to go ahead and try and blend out the upper portion of that shadow is a tad bit lighter than the first shade that I used and it's perfect actually for kind of blowing out the edges of that first color. It's very, very pretty, I like that. Okay, okay, I know I got a little out of hand blowing out that lighter shade, but I did want to just kind of diffuse it all over my lid, so that's pretty much what I did. Okay, so that's good enough for now. Now I wanna go ahead and deepen my inner and outer corners. So of course I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette, which is this nice Cocolicious shade right here. I'm gonna take that and just place it on my inner and outer corners today. This shade is not sticking as much as it would have if I wouldn't have put so much of that first shade down because of course you know powders need something to adhere to so typically I like to start out with the darkest shade but I didn't want to do that today so now it's a little bit more difficult for me to get this dark shade to stick to my lid because there's so much um, eyeshadow that's already down so that is actually my fault I'm not gonna blame the palette for that because I know why it's not sticking okay you guys this is definitely turning into a plan B eye look because I messed up by not putting that dark color down first and I just ended up blowing everything out and mixing everything together I'm too lazy to start over so we are going to do a full cut crease <laughs> on my lid so I'm gonna use my 
Revolution cut crease canvas, carve out a cut crease, and then we'll jump into some of these shimmers and glitters, okay? Okay, so as you guys can see, I did a pretty serious cut crease. <laughs> So that hopefully I can save this look and use this dark shade on my lid. So I'm going to go into the outer portion of that cut crease with this dark shade. I'm going to blend the first shade into that and then I'm going to move into placing some of these glitters on the first part of my cut crease. So I'm going to work backwards this time, okay? So this is not turning into my favorite look, but it's all because I'm too lazy to start over. <laughs> so just make sure you don't make the same mistakes as me. Use the dark first and move into the light. But I wanna go ahead and try out this glitter here. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna place that on the inner portion of my cut crease and see how it looks. And even though you're not supposed to have to use a glitter glue or glitter primer, I'm gonna use my NYX glitter primer just to kind of make it adhere a little bit easier since I'm having so many difficulties today. Okay, you guys, so I must admit, this glitter is shit popping, okay? This glitter is so pretty. I really like how that looks. As you can see, I just kind of drug it a little bit farther back, trying to make it fade out some. So let me see if I can make this eye match this eye. Okay, you guys, so that is as close with this glitter as I'm going to get as far as getting them to match. This glitter is really pretty. I really, really like it. I definitely would say use a glitter primer or glitter glue, even though it is sticky, but I could tell it's still gonna fall and get all over the place. So using a glitter glue and primer is your best bet. Now, I was gonna do my whole face and all that stuff, but this video is gonna be too long because of the mistakes I made with this shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my ColourPop foundation, concealer, highlighter, and all that good stuff, and we'll come back and finish up this eye look. Okay guys, so I'm back. Went ahead, used my ColourPop complexion items, foundation, concealer, powder, all that stuff. And I got frustrated because uh, I don't really care for my ColourPop complexion items and powders, so not really happy with how it's looking, but anyway. ColourPop face. <laughs> um, now, I did go in with my City Color Infinity Highlighter Palette. I didn't use any of my ColourPop highlighters because I wanted to use this. So I used this to highlight today as well as on my nose. And I even put a little bit underneath my brow bone to highlight this look. So I did use that. And I don't have a ColourPop blush like I said in the beginning. I didn't grab any of the ColourPop blushes. So, I did use my Juvia's Place blush palette, and this is volume two. And I did go in with these two shades here. So the pinky shade and the pretty corally shade on my cheeks, just in case you're curious about my blush. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. Now, I wanna keep the lower lash line simple since I have all this glitter on the top. And as you can see, I did add a little bit of eyeliner. So I am just going to take the darkest shade, of course, the darkest shade in here to smoke out underneath my eye. And I'm going to use some of this coral shade to smoke it out even more. So that's what I'm gonna do to finish off these eyes. And then we'll jump into these cute little lipsticks, okay? I'm 
go in with my Milani Black Eyeliner for my lower lash line. And I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandalized Mascara for my lashes. Okay, you guys, so now it's time to pick a lipstick to go along with this look. I'm gonna swatch them on my hands just so I can see which color I like the best. So this is Tea Time. Oh, that's pretty. This is Flower Season. Oh, that's really pretty. Very coralicious. Oh, that's pretty. So far, I'm thinking about Tea Time though. And lastly, I have Moody Blossom. Oh, so those are some really, really pretty colors. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Tea Time. I think Tea Time will fit this look the best. Okay, and I'm not gonna use a lip liner, y'all. I'm just going to go in. Lipsticks are so creamy and comfortable. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculously creamy. It feels really, really good. I like that color. I think it matches my eyes very nicely. And they smell good too. Well, they kind of smell good, but then they also smell a little bit like Play-Doh. <laughs> so, it smells like a tasty Play-Doh, okay? If that makes sense. So anyway, this shade is tea time. And I like it, it matches my look, okay? So, just my overall thoughts, first impressions on this palette. I think this is a very nice palette. It's bomb. The packaging is nice. It's $18, so eh. I mean, you get what? Four times three, 12 shades, a couple of glitters. The glitter is absolutely gorgeous. I love the glitter. Um, I didn't play around with the Super Shock Shadow yet. You guys know I kept it pretty simple. I only used three of the mattes. Now, my suggestion as far as this palette goes, it is very nicely pigmented, but with it being pressed pigments and them being so pigmented, you do need to use them in a certain order. I definitely would suggest using a tacky or sticky base. Do not set your eyeshadow primer or whatever you put on your lid don't set it with a powder I would definitely say you need to use the tap 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 build up and then blend method don't tap and blend tap and blend and definitely start with your dark shades and move into your light shades because trying to put a powder on top of a powder is just not gonna work with this palette as you guys saw I couldn't get that dark the dark shade to show once I had the lighter, more beautiful coral shades down. So I had to refreak my whole eye look, but I'm not mad. I still like the way that it turned out. I think it looks nice. I was able to save it because I was being lazy. <laughs> Didn't want to start from scratch. So anyway, those are just my suggestions as far as this palette goes. I like it. I think it's very nice. I think it is very spring-like. And I would say that this is brown girl friendly. It's on that border though. <laughs> it is on that border. I mean, any lighter and I would say negative, okay? Cause this shade, although it is a nice deep brown, it's like, it's on the cusp. So it's not brown girl friendly for every brown girl. Of course the glitters and shimmers will look beautiful on any lid, but as far as the shadows, being able to smoke out looks and stuff, I don't know, it's kind of borderline. But this shade here, you guys saw how pigmented and beautiful that coral shade was before I had to go in and just kind of go crazy blending everything together. It is very, very pretty. Now for the lipsticks, you guys saw the ones that I got, I'm very happy with. I think these are going to be perfect for my spring looks. They're gorgeous, I like them. It's just, it's all good, okay? So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me to create this struggle color pop look no fault of the palette it's user error today because i know how to put on shadows i don't know what i was thinking going in with that coral before the dark shade but anywho thanks so much for watching you guys and i will see you on my next video Toodles.